let's say thanks to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for giving us guidance, heaviness, health, and mercy, so we can attend and participate in this event without any obstacles. Praise and salutation upon our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who has guided us from the darkness into the lightness. I would like uh, to share a warm welcome to all of you for taking the time to attend this event. And I would like to express our immense gratitude to the education office of Bogor District and the English Teachers Forum of uh, Vocational High School of Bogor District for making this webinar possible. Without their support, we will not be here tonight. We are truly thank you for their efforts and uh, contributions toward this event. So in this uh, moment, I would like to say welcome to our speaker. First, uh, Bapak Dr. Abur Mustikawanto, MED, as the head of education's office of Bogor District. Second is Ibu Haja Hastanti, MPD, the supervisor of vocational high school of Bogor District. Ibu Pitranita, MPD, the head of English Teacher Forum of Bogor District. Mr. Bruce Walker, the former English Education Development of West Japa Education's office. And then uh, I would say welcome also to the speaker from SMKN1 Bojonggede, Ibu Aisyah Pitri, and then Ibu Ana Setianingsi SPD, GR from SMKN1 Kemang, Ibu Sutias SM from SMK Laboratorium Indonesia, and then the speaker, Bapak Rizmi Shopyar, AMD from SMK Wirabuana. And then uh, also uh, welcome to all the headmaster in vocational high school Pajar and dulu, ya. also senior high school in Bogor district. And all the members of the English teachers of vocational high school forum of Bogor district and also all the audience. Welcome to our webinar of teacher C1 speak up with the theme is our school best program. Uh, tonight we will have a several agenda so allow me to read the round down. The first is opening. The second is singing national anthem. And then the third is opening remark. And the fourth is setting sessions about the school programs. And then the five is Q&A session. And uh, the last is closing. So well, now let's start this agenda with uh, reciting Basmalah together. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, next agenda is singing national anthem uh, for the audience. Please, we can uh, just just sit down, and then we will sing Indonesia Raya. Mr. Hakim, the floor is yours. The sound. There is no sound.
Alright, uh, Bapak Ibu, we'll continue to our second agenda. It's opening remarks. For the first opening remarks, will be delivered by Ibu Pitranita MPD as the head of English Teacher Vocational School Forum of Bogor District. Ibu Pitranita, the time is yours. Okay, thank you, Ibu Yusi. You give me in uh, this speaker today. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Good evening, the all English teacher. Thank you to each uh, everyone of you being here today. This is wonderful in this webinar. The C1 speak up. Okay, CD Blaweh Wan, West Java Province. Okay, greeting to all of us. I hope you are still protection of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. I hope you all the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I honorable Mr. Abu Mustikawanto, M Education, the head of KCD One, Wilayah One, Bisjapa Province. And then I honorable Ibu Haja Hastanti, MPD, is a supervisor, Bisjapa Province. And Honorable Mr. Adi Bukana MPD, as a young expert analyst of KCD, Wilayah One Province, West Java Province. And the Honorable All English Teacher and the SMK Bogor Agency, you have given the time and energy to attend the webinar. The teachers, you want to speak up today. And then thank you for all the team uh, help me to be here for this seminar today. Uh, and then thank you, Mr. Hakim, for the host this webinar today evening. Okay, we hope this program teacher you want to speak up can add an insight to your teachers. For those who have even been able to attend here, I hope next week the teacher can be attend to the webinars. And uh, the winner, the webinar is the webinar. Thank you, Mr. And then uh, the honorable Mr. Bruce Walker. Mr. Bruce Walker, he was the English Development Consultant. He was in Sijapa Province. He is the good friend, is Mr. Abur Mustikawan. And then, uh, Mr. Workbus Worker, stay here to the webinar today. Okay, the purpose of the webinar is to increase and knowledge for all the teachers. The teacher can speak English, uh, so in the public and 
give many motivations and to know it for all the teachers in the school. Okay, and then uh, they will, this program, uh, this program is uh, can increase the knowledge and is the insight knowledge for the teacher in the school. And then we have uh, discussed about something here, about the problem we have in the school. And then the teacher, the webinar is next week. The teacher in, uh, in the teacher is produced uh, the have the knowledge for all the teachers. And then the speakers as uh, alternate and next week's. And then we take about our teacher in from the other school. Swasta for an agree in Kabupaten Bogor. Okay, uh, this program. And then I hope these programs uh, can run smoothly. I hope all of the teacher can follow seriously these programs and we each each with carry out this program. Teachers you once we up once a week with the senior high school and the speaker will also take turns to present our the school program. On these occasions, I will ask some of the program that we do a carry out among them. And then the first, the program, uh, teachers see once we up what we are doing now. Next, we will do the English competition activities for student SMK Bogoriensi. And then kinds of English competitions, one present skill contest one of students, present skill consists one the students, and then debate in English consists three, three students and one speaker, and then second speaker and third speaker. And then it's time we do a storytelling to one student. The student may regret to 11 and 12. And I hope the student uh, prefer the all students to the competitions. And then, uh, thank you. On a, last week, we do have Zoom meeting with uh, Mr. Adi Molana, MPD. We do the Zoom meeting about the FIRA test tweets. And then, uh, next time, uh, we can do again a Zoom meeting for the students. So, uh, we give the motivations for students to do the test tweet in FIRA. I hope so, Mr. Adi Molana. Okay. Uh, Thank you for all the mm -hmm. speakers to stay here, yeah. And then consist four speakers today. Uh, Anna Setiana from SMKN Satu Kemang. Are you ready, Ibu Anna? Still? And then Ibu Sutias from SMK Labrotium. The all speaker can in swasta and agree. And change about the speaker next week, yeah. And then we have the schedule for the teachers and speakers, and then moderators. Then each student must already to, to take is the speakers. And then this webinar uh, can uh, it's the knowledge for the teachers and the teacher can speak in English public for all the, uh, all the teachers. And then next, uh, we think about the students and the speakers. And the teacher can prepare all students and to speak in these webinars. Maybe the time we have maybe this this afternoon after this evening. Yeah, uh, I hope so. This webinar, the the speaker can say about the our school based programs, and then uh, so the the English the English teacher can. Uh, know about what is your program in the school uh, one by one. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Abu. You give motivations and support for me, for us from NGMP, SMK, and Bogor. And this webinar make me happy and enjoy to do this webinar about this program. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bruce Walker, who has provided. Uh, Mr. Walker, is you have attend here, we said computer, and then we 
he was in consultants and former former in consultants. Uh, he is he was a former English development consultant at the West Java province. He was from the USA. He is a good friend, Mr. Abur. We we feel proud and happy because Mr. Bruce Walker can be here in the winner. Today is NGMP SMK Kabupaten Bogor Kesiding Blayamans. Okay, I hope the all English teachers seriously to follow this webinar today. Still finish, yeah. Don't go any rule about the Zoom meeting today. And then uh, the purpose of the winner is to increase our competence is mystery, English, and to increase sense of brotherhood in one vocational school, this program. This program is uh, it's, uh, is uh, happy and maybe not this is evening, yeah. Okay, uh, thank you for your attention, Mr. Lucy. I said today, this evening, uh, I hope this uh, webinar can run away still finish. Okay, Bu Pitra, mm -hmm. thank you very much for your uh, speech today. Then uh, for the second opening remark will be delivered by Ibu Hajah Hastanti. MPD as the supervisor of vocational high school of Bogor district. Bu Hasanti, the time is yours. All right, thank you very much, uh, Bu Yusi and the host. Yeah, for oh, the time given to me. Well, uh, first of all, let us thank Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Yeah, that uh, for the chance given to us and this is very precious of course and salawat and salam also to our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam well ladies and gentlemen uh, as well assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh ya honorable mr abur mustika wanto yes ma'am thank you very much yeah, thank you. You are here. Very glad to have you here, uh, sir. Uh, the head of uh, education office, uh, <laughs> Wilayah One or Area One, and uh, also Mr. Adi. Uh, Mr. Adi is also there. I can see. And uh, yes, thank you, Miss Hastanti. <laughs> yeah, welcome, Mr. Adi. Pa Agus Sharifudin. Yeah, the supervisor of English. Teachers Forum of uh, Senior High School. Yeah, I can see Pak Ujang, the principals of SMK Kemang. Yeah, then also all of us, our beloved, beloved teachers in the, the vocational high school, uh, English teachers. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, this. Time, this opportunity is very precious to us. Thank you, Mr. Abur, for actually we've been dreaming a long time for having this kind of room. Yeah, and uh, Mr. Abur fortunately support us much yeah, to develop ourselves with the program and also the facilities, of course. Yeah, so thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, and uh, we need it very much. Yeah. As you know, everybody, teachers are very busy preparing for uh, the lessons, uh, developing themselves yeah, for uh, the teaching methods, yeah, and then uh, preparing for a test, yeah, working on it, grading. Yeah. They are very busy, but tonight they spend time to have us together here having uh, the group, the program of C1 teacher as teacher C1 speaks up. Yeah, this is the idea of Mr. Albert, I think very well. Yeah, and uh, glad that uh, we can all be here today. Yeah, everybody. Uh, hopefully, uh, this forum is uh, 
we can use, uh, we can make use of this forum uh, seriously to develop ourselves first before we develop our students. Um, this is a good idea that communication is the best way of developing ourselves and developing our students, of course. Then having this kind of a room to speak up, yeah, makes sense. Having more bravery, yeah, conquer the nervousness, yeah, as uh, some teachers just now said, uh, ma'am, I'm nervous, yeah, because this is the first time, <laughs> yeah. So uh, from uh, some occasion like this, later we can conquer the um, nervousness and, uh, yeah, we collect ideas, what to say, etc. And uh, one more thing, I almost forget, <laughs> sorry. Mr. Bruce Walker, welcome. <laughs> yeah, the consultant of uh, former consultant, yeah, Pak Abur, yeah, of uh, West Java Education Office. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he was. Hello, yeah. yeah, selamat malam. Good evening. Yes, yeah, selamat yeah. malam. Oh, your Indonesian has been good. <laughs> oh, we better say it in Indonesian. <laughs> Uh, we should talk in English, eh? Yeah, I've been speaking course. English since yeah, I was a little boy. It's incredible. Uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Let you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, you you have some uh, ideas to say later, because uh, we usually okay. will will uh, will arrange it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Um. Yeah. As as I told you, that communication is basic need of us to develop since uh, in this era. One of Great thing we have to uh, enrich to our students is uh, ability in communication. And uh, one thing we cannot avoid of in communication is language. And uh, our global language is first English, of course, then as an English teachers, we have to develop ourselves with this and don't forget also later uh, de develop it the communication ability of our students, yeah. So I am uh, very glad, sir, sirs, because there are many sirs. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, because I have all teachers here and our great teachers, yeah. With, uh, today we are going to perform four teachers of us. Actually, we have more than that. And hopefully uh, later we have in turn, uh, we'll perform uh, other teachers, of course, and uh, we are going to uh, present uh, activities uh, in the schools. Thank you very much for your uh, being ready for that. And uh, don't forget, uh, all teachers later, be active of having question and answer. So from that, of course, uh, we are educating ourselves. This program is really um, energizing, I think. <laughs> yeah, make us having energy of um, uh, keep developing ourselves. So, uh, Ms. Sutias, Ms. Anna, Ms. Aisha, Mr. Rismi, good luck with your uh, presentation today. And of course, uh, with all teachers later in turn, yeah. Thank you very much, and I don't want to talk much. I just want to have enjoy this uh, forum with you all and having uh, seeing you all active with this. And once again, thank you very much, Mr. Abur, for the facilitation and the support. This is very, very, very precious for us. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Bu Hasanti, for the speech. And then uh, uh, we also very, very excited <laughs> because this event is make uh, the teacher uh, having a forum, some kind of discussions, uh, and then also can speak a lot in speaking in uh, English speaking. <laughs> For Mr. Bruce Walker, welcome to our webinar. I hope you will get ready for your uh, speech today, maybe. Maybe. Wow. <laughs> okay, Mr. Bruce. 
Oke. Okay. <laughs> Oke, okay, uh, let's We cannot see your voice, Miss Yusi. We cannot listen to your voice. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, uh, how about now? Can yes. you hear my yeah. voice? Okay, okay. okay. It's yes. Me. Okay. So, welcome to Mr. Bruce. I hope... Uh, Uh, you can uh, give the motivation for us, right? <laughs> In this webinar. Okay, uh, next I will continue to opening remark from the head of education's office of uh, West Java province, Mr. Abur Mustikawanto, MAD. And for Mr. Abur, the time is yours. Yeah. Thank you, BUC. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Good Barbara. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Abur. Yeah. Good evening, Mr. Abur. Hello, Barbara. How are you? Hello. Abur, how are you? Ah, okay. Not bad, not bad. I'm still, yeah. I'm still in a, on the way, in a highway from... Uh, yeah, not not far from uh, international airport to Bogor now. Okay. To Bogor. So with, with my driver. So once again, Pabrus, thank you. Yeah, you can join with us. Yeah. Sorry, I will turn off my video. Yeah. So sometimes if okay. I turn on, so I have a problem with the, my voice. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Okay. So, everyone in here, Ibu, Bapak, as a teacher of English or English teacher in Katsidi uh, One. Katsidi yeah. One. So, Bogor Municipal, because of you, all of you, need uh, practice, so I have an idea with uh, Adi to make uh, this meeting, yeah? Let's say yes, thank you, Mr. Small, small webinar. <laughs> so, you know, this time we'll running some of uh, uh, teacher Pabrus will say or maybe tell a story like A story about happy happiness, happy when they have a life. Uh, for example, meet with a ex boyfriend or ex girlfriend long time ago, maybe, and they should tell us when, where. So sometimes we need to know. Maybe, maybe. So. Or maybe you can tell about how to make balabala. You can tell to us. Or maybe you have a maybe you have a program in your school with a, a good program still running now in your school. So you can tell to us and let me know together. So everyone in here knows everything about your school. So we. Uh, depend with my experience when I was in abroad. So English conversation or speaking is a important thing. Yeah, Pablos. Yeah, maybe Pablos will tell us about the importance of English. The, the the problem is sometimes all of Indonesian people. The number one problem is uh, to say something in English. Takut salah, <laughs> maybe like that. So depend with Pak Bruce. Please, Pak Bruce, tell us. Mengapa takut salah? Why we still have a feeling takut salah? So, Bapak Ibu, if you feel 
uh, stuck in your uh, vocab. So you can say mix, yeah. Like uh, we can say campur sari, yeah. <laughs> so mix with Indonesia, that's okay. We still learn. Each other just remind us. Oh, that's a. Uh, you should like. Uh, you should say like this. Blah 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 and so on. So that's all. I hope this program will running uh, every every week, Fabulous. So maybe next week or maybe every week I will invite uh, your friend to join with us, Fabulous. Net or something. Yeah, your friend I will invite. Uh, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Just give motivation to us. Uh, supaya their English, our English fluent when facing facing or have a, a, a foreigner from many countries. That's all. Ibu, you see? Yes. So, thank you very much. Yes, I will return the, the time to you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Pak Abur, for this That's speech. a good idea. That's a good idea. Yes, that's right. So we have a forum for discussions and also speaking in English. I, actually, it's a really great thing. So uh, the next opening remark will be for Mr. Bruce Walker. Uh, as the former English Education Development of West Japa Education Office. And the time is yours, Mr. Bruce. Angga, silahkan. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> thank you very much uh, to Bu Yusi, uh, to Bu Fitra Nita. And uh, there were many people mentioned here. I'm just thrilled that you're all here. But first and foremost, to thank, thank you to my good friend, Abur Mustikawanto, um, who uh, we did so much work together uh, uh, in terms of traveling around West Java uh, that I had the privilege of seeing the beauty of West Java and meeting so many beautiful people uh, like all of you on this call, friendly, beautiful, Sundanese people. And uh, so I've lived here for 22 years and I have loved every moment of it. And uh, really, uh, you know, it has more to do with the people. So I, I just wanna say thank you to you as well for being those who speak English and uh, who are able to receive somebody like me, a foreigner, uh, because I think you're gonna get a lot more visitors to West Java. Uh, there's there's many reasons why I think this, but um, yeah, I, I wanted to ask the question, um, why why do you uh, train your children here to speak English? What's the main goal? Yes. Anybody can answer. Can answer, maybe. Yes. Raise your hand. Yes. 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 Thank you very much. Uh, I'm uh, Donna from SMKN Wan Chibina, and I'm really excited to join this webinar, especially when I heard that um, yeah, we can say the native speaker is here. So I'm glad. Yes, and great. Thanks to <laughs> Bruce. Yes. Uh, I think uh, the question is why why you would like uh, to teach your children. English is that is that right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. All the children yes. here in West Java, oh, yeah. right? Except yeah. my children, or even the students. The students are also my children, right? And then, of course, uh, the first uh, thing: why should we teach them? Yes, because English is not only a lesson, but it's a need for us in this era. I think that's the, the, the most important that I have to teach them English while I am also learning my English to be improved every day. That's why I'm very excited to join this uh, webinar. So the main point is we have to get the mind, uh, mindset for my students or even my children that English is a need for today, not only a lesson. So the point how they can speak English in their daily activities. I think that is my opinion, sir. Okay. Thank you. 
That's great. Thank you very much. Yeah. It's Budona, Budona yeah? Dona yes. One. Okay, yes, very Madonna. good. Yes, Madonna. Madonna. Madonna, yeah. <laughs> Your favorite singer. Okay. Okay, so, okay thank you. I... I think I I think it's because you want your students to be able to communicate to the world, right? Now, the second question to think about is what is special about the Sundanese people that you want your students to communicate to the world? Um uh, pardon me, uh, Mr. Bruce, because my son is, uh, is disturbing me sometimes. <laughs> about Sundanese? What, what, yeah, about what the Sundanese you... people. What do you want your students to tell the world in English about the Sundanese people? Okay, yes. I think for the Sundanese also, we have to maintain our, our um, origin uh, language in our area. So it will be better if they, especially the real Sundanese, they can speak uh, both in English and also in Sundanese. Amen. I like that. Now, <laughs> but there's, there's something very special about the Sundanese people. And maybe, maybe not everybody knows this, right? Because you all are, maybe, maybe many of you are Sundanese people, right? So sometimes you don't know what's so special about you as a people. Sometimes you know some things, sometimes you don't. But your students should know what's special about the people, the Sundanese people, and be able to communicate that with the world. And I think that's why you're going to get many visitors coming to West Java. It's because of what the Sundanese have been given. And many centuries ago, yeah, lots of wisdom has been given to the Sundanese people over the, over the centuries. And I'm just discovering some of it, and I'm fascinated with it. I'm absolutely thrilled to learn more and more. And Abur knows a little bit about my journey. But the main thing that prevents students from being able, I'll tell you a little bit more about this later. The main thing that prevents our students from speaking confidently is grammar. <laughs> okay, let me tell you why. And if you teach your students grammar, you know what will happen? They will be afraid to open their mouths because they will be dizzy thinking about 16 tenses. Which one should I use? Which one should I use? It's the same as if you teach a person to play badminton by teaching them the rules of badminton and how they should swing and not swing and all that. And so when, when the badminton cock comes to them, they're thinking about rules. They're all you know dizzy thinking about rules instead of thinking about even if I hit that thing with the wrong technique, maybe I look like a fool, I go like this and everybody laughs, right? Even if I do that, but the cock gets returned to the other side, that's a good player. It's the player that gets so dizzy that they don't even want to open their mouth because they're afraid. I'm afraid that I will get the grammar wrong. And guess what? Every boule, every boule like me, we already learn to understand people who speak with wrong grammar. Those are called children, okay? They don't, they don't speak with proper grammar from, from kindergarten. See, kids learn how to speak with proper grammar as they get into elementary school and into junior high. So if we start people out with grammar, they will be afraid to open their mouths. What we need to start with is listening and speaking. Listening and speaking. Those are the main two things that children use to learn how to communicate, right? But if we take a small child and we say, wait, 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 you got to learn all the rules. You know, you can't speak wrong. In fact, if you speak wrong, I'm going to tell you. Every time you speak wrong, I'm going to correct you. Guess what happens to the kid? They're silent. They're not going to speak. 
they're going to say, you know what, every time I open my mouth, I get some sort of a, you know, punishment, right? So in, in coaching athletes, one of the things you want to do is take the athletes who are really gifted and pay a lot of attention to them and, and in an encouraging way. Wow, you did that right. You did that right. And then maybe once or twice saying, okay, this needs improvement, right? So with children, you have like a whole classroom. You got 30 kids and only four of them or five of them are really good, right? Everybody else is, is scribbling on a paper or, you know, kind of like, eh, whatever, or sleeping in this room, right? So there's five kids or maybe, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less who are really good and want to speak and want to listen and want to communicate. Those are the kids that are going to win your debate competition. Those are the ones who are going to be awesome at communicating in English and not be fearful. It's when you take those kids and you, you pay attention to them and then you invite others into that, then I think you're going to end up having a whole classroom more full of kids. And they say, hey, if that guy can do it, I can do it, right? If, if that person can speak English and win a debate competition, maybe I could too. And you'll have a number of kids in your classroom who will say, I'm going to try to speak English. I'm going to try to listen and communicate in English. And eventually you teach children how to read. You teach them how to write, right? But you don't start with grammar. You never start with grammar when you're trying to encourage a child to communicate. So if somebody's not speaking, it's useless that they'll learn grammar. Absolutely useless. It's like teaching somebody the rules of badminton, but they're never playing badminton. They, are, they know all the theory about badminton, but they've never played. So even if you bring them to a badminton court, they'll be so freaked out that they won't wanna, they won't wanna do anything. In fact, they'll say, wait, 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 I just wanna sit over here and I don't wanna speak. I, I mean, I don't wanna play, right? Because they'll be so fearful that they'll make a mistake and everybody will laugh at them. Does that make sense? All right. Cool. Of course. It yeah. So, that's cool. Yes, so. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. All right. Thank good. you. And thank you. So so you for your advice. Yeah. What's that? Hope to see you again for every uh, meeting for this uh, forum. I hope to too. And the next time I get with you, I want to tell you about Budak Angon. Budak Angon, wow, well, you know that. <laughs> to I want to tell you about Ratu Adil. Yeah. Yeah, that's so really I've interesting. I've been learning a lot. Abur that's knows, really interesting. Abur knows what I've been learning. And I, I just want to say, this is part of the treasure that you have here mm -hmm. in West Java that's mm. now starting to be known, right? Mm -hmm. But it was buried quite a bit below the surface and now it's starting to, to be known. And I think you should all be proud of your heritage, especially mm -hmm. the heritage of your old kingdom and, and what it represented. So I will say this to you, Siliasi, Siliasa. Asa, yeah. Siliasi. Oh, you know it. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Wow, that was great. <laughs> wow. Well done, speaks, Well done. Uh, wow, awesome. that's really great. You may know more than us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why. I'm I'm learning more. I would love to tell you more. And maybe in a future time that we're together, okay. I, I'll let you know what I've learned. And then, you know, the process of learning is also, I don't know, I don't know everything that I've learned is right, you know? So I hear a story from this person, or I hear a story from that person, and maybe your story or your understanding of 
uh, this, that is different. And so I've found that it's really good to hear the stories from other people and to learn from other people. And then it causes me to be rich. Do you know what it is to be wealthy? Of course. Rich? Rich. Has nothing, has nothing to do with this. Money, yeah? Wealth has, wealth has everything to do with what you have here and here, right? Yeah. Oh, and, the, and the only way that you get really wealthy is by interacting or communicating with other people, right? And I, I think you all believe this and communicating with God, right? God, yes. So you, you have wealth. In Indonesia. You have hmm. wealth here, lots of wealth. And it's not just the natural wealth. It's hmm. the cultural yeah. wealth that you have here. And the whole world hmm. should know. So your children should speak English so they can tell the whole world the story of the Sundanese people. Mm -hmm. Wow, great. Wow. Give big <laughs> applause for Mr. Bruce. <laughs> it's really cool motivation. It's really great motivation. Wow. So we have to speak, not only just teaching grammar, right? <laughs> okay. Thank you for the motivation, Mr. Bruce. So I hope next week, you still become our speaker, right? I, yes, I hope so. I, I yes, you more. should. You should. You should. <laughs> sure. For every meeting, okay. Miss Yusi. Yes, Miss Donna. Yes, we should uh, invite Mr. Bruce here yeah, as the speaker. Ah, yeah, Bruce, um, please, Bruce. Let's join with us. <laughs> That's only one hour. <laughs> every time. It's good. Every, it's good. every way yeah, now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So uh, we will also uh, listen our next speaker. It's also about uh, sharing and maybe uh, let's uh, continue to our agenda. After this, uh, the, it's, uh, it will be delivered by Ibu Aisyah Pitri, SPD from SMK Negeri One Bojong Gede. Uh, Bu Aisyah, please, the time is yours. Uh, okay, thank you so much, Ibu Yusi. Um, <laughs> I'm so nervous, but I'm excited, you know. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, first of all, let's say thank you to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that given a mercy and help for us uh, and together in this webinar, uh, teacher C1 speaker and salawat and salam to our Prophet Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uh, Honorable Head of the West Java Provincial Ed Education Office, KCD Region 1, Mr. Dr. Abur Mustikawanto, Magister Education. Uh, thank you so much. Mr. Abur has accommodated English teachers for sharing experience and information. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Okay, thank you, Mr. Uh, this is a really excited webinar, I think. Uh, and then, uh, Honorable to Education Supervisor of SMK KCD Region 1, uh, Mem Haja Hastanti MPD, uh, Honorable to all Headmasters of SMK Negeri 1 KCD Region 1, Kabupaten Bogor, and Honorable to Mr. Bruce Walker, thank you for joining, uh, joining and you are so inspiring, I think. And for Ibu Fitra as a uh, president of MGMP Bahasa Inggris Bogor Agency. Thank you, Ibu Fitra, for letting me join this program and believe me as speaker. And of course, to my beloved partners beloved. of vocational English teachers Kabupaten Bogor. Good evening, everyone. Okay. Um, I would like to say thank you uh, for taking your precious time for this program. I really appreciate it. I would like to introduce myself. 
Uh, my name is Aisha Fitri. People usually call me Bu Aisha, and my students usually call me Mem Aisha. I'm an English teacher of SMK Negeri One Bojong Gede. SMK Negeri One Bojong Gede uh, have has popular name uh, Nesabo. Okay. Uh, before I share the best program of Nesabo, uh, let me share to you a little profile of SMK Negeri One Bojong Gede or Nesabo. SMK Negeri One Bojong Gede is a state vocation. Uh, has five areas of expertise. They are accounting, hospitality, accommodation, uh, culinary and service skill, uh, tourism, business service, and multimedia. Uh, but since uh, curriculum merdeka, multimedia changed to the cafe. The cafe is design, communication, and visual. Nesabo is located in Jalan Raya Perumpura Bojong Gede, Kampung Cipucang Cemanggis Village. Bojong Gede, Bogor. I believe some of you have ever uh, came to my school. And now under leadership of Mr. Aman Sihombing MPD. Uh, well, uh, my dear partners, oh, what I want to say to you about the Sabo Best Program. Okay, the first one is industry class or class industry. Currently, Nesabu is running the second year of class industry program. Class industry program is a special class freshman program that exists within the school environment. This class is managed jointly between schools and industries uh, according to the competencies in the Sabo. At each grade and major, there is one class industry. Students of class industry or industry class, uh, we usually say class industry. I'm sorry if I have mistaken to say like this. Uh, the students selected are selected students who have the best value of knowledge, skills, and support. The facility uh, that industry class have additional class. Additional class conducted inside and outside of learning schedule. Nesabo cooperate with Game Lab Indonesia to design communication and visual and accounting major. For culinary, tourism service, and hospitality accommodation major, have additional class in Safoy, Hopman, Bandung Hotel. Besides that, um, there are additional class for speaking English and IT, usually held after school for English and IT class. And Nesabo uh, uses a professional teachers from internal and external of school. That's the first one. And the second one, I think the best uh, program of Nesabo is extracurricular. Uh, there are 10 extracurriculars in Nesabo, scout, uh, pramuka, pasibra, and pencak silat, basket, badminton, and then uh, futsal, rohis, PMR, dance art, and um, Nesabo English Club. Extracurriculars are one of our best programs because Extracurriculars are targeted to accommodate students' creativity and interest. Not only that, extracurricular activities in Nesabo have also been to meet the needs, support of every important school activity. Like Scout or Pramuka and Pasibaka have been able to carry out well great ceremony activities every Monday and National Holiday. Several Scouts have been elected as a Scout management at level kecamatan and kabupaten. Uh, recent achievements of Pasti Braka Nesabo has been elected as Pasti Braka Force for 78 Indonesia National Independence Day at the level of kecamatan Bojong Gede and kabupaten Bogor. And then in the in the sporting events like basketball, badminton, pencak silat, and futsal extracurricular have made many achievements up to the level of Dabo Detabek. Uh, we have also Rohis, always accommodate, Rohis and Rokris, always accommodate social and religious activities in Nesabo. And the last, I want to share you about uh, Nesabo English Club. Okay, I will talk about English Club more than others because we are English teacher. This is my part, this is our part. And I'm authorized. At Nesabo English Club Supervisor. 
Okay, Nasa Sabah English Club was founded in 2016 in the background with the presence of volunteer from Tiskop America, Indonesia, Mr. Gwen Kaisan. Uh, Mr. Abur, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, to be honest, Mr. Abur, I first met you not when you are head of KCD Region 1, but in Bandung. When you get remarks and materials at training activities and competency events organized by Peace Corps, you still remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah nice, Little bit nice to meet you again, Mister. Yeah. yeah, nice to meet you again in KCD Wilayah Satu. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. And um, Nesabu has made several achievements at the Kabupaten. Stuck. It's stuck, Miss Aisa. Miss Aisa. And still, and for the Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and we have ever won the first place in speech yeah, contest okay. at PGRI Championship for oh, Jabodetabek. And we have ever uh, won the second runner-up of speech contest at. West Java English competition. And Alhamdulillah, is, uh, English club, the important uh, can accommodate being students' interest in learning English in a fun and excited way. And now in 2023 and 2024 academic year, members of AJ are more than 250 students. It means uh, the interest of students in learning speaking English increase. Okay, I think uh, that's all I can tell you uh, this evening about the best program of SMK Negeri One Bujunggede of Nesabu. Thank you so much for your kind attention, and I'm very sorry for all my minors. Uh, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a good night. Fun to you. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much, Bu Aisa. Uh, me also uh, from SMKN One Charyu, Pak Abur. Uh, we have also a program from Piscop. Uh, last two years or five years, Bu Aisa? I forgot. Uh, I still remember. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, from uh, and Bojonggede. So I yes, gave, yes. Uh, native speaker, yeah, yeah. That's yes. A, yeah. There's a program, native speaker from will, America yeah. from Piscop. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Before the, the, the teacher yeah. from SMK Charyu is uh, Miss uh, Jennifer. Miss Jennifer. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, And I yeah, would yeah, like I, to Miss Aisa, Miss Yusi. Yeah, I what want to have the Pierce Corp also, <laughs> Mr. Abu. Promise me. Yes, Udona is jealous because uh, his school didn't have. Uh, maybe maybe one day from next, America. <laughs> yeah, next program I will invite uh, the staff from Piscor Foundation. Yes, yeah, we from should, Piscor we should. Foundation, <laughs> who can uh, explain about uh, what should I do uh, as a school? Yeah, you should prepare something and blah blah blah. So they will uh, inform you many of uh, information about we uh, what I should do. As a school receive uh, receive a uh, volunteer, and here is a nice speaker. So maybe one day I will invite them. Maybe I, as a person, so I will send a, a letter first to the the office, their office. So maybe one day, a mix yeah between vocational school and general high school together in one room like this, and then they will uh, I will give. Uh, uh, time to give information to us, maybe like that. So just just pray, yes. yeah. Mudah mudahan. Uh, I hope uh, we'll running well my program. Thank you. Okay, we are really I'm pleased. Waiting. We are really Thank pleased you. to give our experience about the Peace Corps teacher from America. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> thank you, uh, Pak Abur. And then uh, let's continue to the next speaker. It will be delivered by Ibu Ana 
Setia Ningsih, SPDGL from SMK Negeri One Kemang. Bu Ana, the time is yours. Yeah, thank you, Miss Yusi. Uh, do you hear my voice? It's clear. Oke, oke, oke. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam. Waalaikumsalam. Honorable Mr. Abur Mustikawanto as the head of KCD1 in Bogor Regency. Honorable yeah. Mr. Adi. Honorable Mrs. Asanti as a supervisor of English MGMP for vocational school. And Honorable Mrs. Fitria as a head of the Bogor Regency English MGMP. And Honorable Mr. Bruce, nice to you know, Mr. And the last Honorable to my headmaster, Mr. Ujang. Thank you very much, Pak. You can join here. And first of all, let us give thanks for the presence of Allah because of his blessings on that we can gather in this room also throughout online. Uh, I would like to say thanks for the opportunity that is given for me. In this opportunity, I'm going to share my experience as a teacher and program in my school. Uh, firstly, let me introduce myself. Uh, I am Anastia Ningsi, and almost of my students called me Miss Anna. Although they know that I had children, but they still call me Miss Anna. And now, I talk in SMKN 1 Kemang, where Mr. Ujang is the headmaster. And after... Uh, Then after I graduated from my college, uh, I went to Jakarta to look for a job. Before I worked in and in SMK N1 Kemang, I ever worked in Prima Gama, Kumon, LPEA, Ruang oh, Guru, and I also ever talk in SMK Mutiara and also SMA Mutiara in Tanjung Priok East Jakarta. Uh, besides that, I also talk as a private teacher and I talk them in their home. I usually did it from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. every Monday until Friday. I had met so many character students and from that I can learn how to handle them when in the class. Actually, I am from Klaten Central Java. Uh, maybe uh. same with Mrs. Hastanti. And <laughs> in 2018, I tried to follow Civic Cervantes in Bandung and press to the gut that I could pass it, and now I work in SMKN 1 Kemang. Uh, now I stay in Kemang too, with my husband and my two children. I don't have the other family who live in West Java, but I am so happy to know all of you, so I feel that I have a new family beside all my friends who work in SMKN 1 Kemang. In SMKN 1 Kemang, I talk English subject from grade 10 and 12, but not for all the department. I just talk in renewable and energy engineering, body automotive, and beauty and spa. Two last year is year which I have so many challenges because besides I am as an English teacher, I also got trust from the headmaster to hold the other job. I am also as a coach of English club in SMKN 1 Kemang. We usually help it once a week. Mm. Uh, from 4 p.m. until 5 p.m. on Thursday. This is a big problem for me because uh, I often join, I often cannot join to lead them when they do English club. Uh, because I must do the other job. But also I'm so proud of my student in 12th grade who can lead uh, their friend in uh, 10 and 11th grade to do activity in English club. Kinds of activities that we do in English club are speaking by telling their experience or activities and song of the month when in this part, the student must tell why they like that song and maybe they can tell about their experience or maybe the song is related with their life or the others. And next uh, program in English club is movie time. In this part, not just seeing the movie, but they also make summary about the story from the movie and also they must learn uh, the message from the movie. And next, we also learn about some tenses. After that, they must make story by using the correct grammar. And they can read their story in front of their friend. And the last program in English club is we have planned to do somewhere, uh, to going to somewhere, but uh, to meet tourists, but uh, it cannot be done in my school 
uh, but I hope that uh, in this matter we can do it. Uh, that is uh, some my experience as a teacher. Maybe I still get confused to teach in uh, in normal class, not in English club, because not all of them can know what I mean when I talk them by using English. It's so different when I talk in common or as a private teacher because they have high motivation and full support from their family, especially for uh, from their parents. Uh, and then I will also... And then I also tell about uh some uh maybe next uh about uh hack motivation from the uh from the parents uh maybe when I talk in common prima gamma LPA and as a private I don't need more effort than I talk in school. I think when I make move to common I will get students like my student in common, but it is just my dream. It's same with the student when I talk in less school. But I don't give up to make them can speak English. I often tell to my student like the message from Mr. Abur when he come to SMKN Satu Kemang, don't think about the correct grammar, just focus in past, present, and future. And although it isn't correct, it's, right. look, it's okay as, uh, as long as you uh, wanna tell, want to try it. I also ask them to remember meaning one word one day, especially can more than it. Started by uh, simple thing like object around them and activity that usually they did. I also ask them to write down the word that they remember from behind of their English book. I believe if they can have so many vocabularies in English, it will help them can make speak English. I also ask them to try speaking English, although it is not using English fully. They can comment it uh, in Bahasa and in English. Uh, maybe that's all about my experience as a teacher. And next, I want to talk about program in my school, hoping that you still focus to hear my story. Uh, SMK N1 Kemang is the first SMK which get predicate as center of excellence. In Bogor Regency for, renew for Renewable Energy Engineering, SMKN One Kemang, uh, SMKN One Kemang has an area of almost three hectares. In SMKN One Kemang has five departments. They are modeling, design, and building information, renewable energy engineering, automotive body engineering, computer network engineering, and the last beauty and spa. Maybe if you can come to SMKN One Satu Kemang, you can do facial in my school. Uh, and next, for modeling and design and building information. I and wow. <laughs> I will be inviting for all of you. I really it want. It will be free. It will be free, Miss Anna. Maybe. <laughs> free, free. <laughs> next, uh, 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 next uh, for modeling, design, and building information and renewable energy engineering, had made collaboration to produce a product called Smart Solar Popping Block. Smart mm -hmm. Solar Popping Block is original, pro original product from SMK and One Kemang. This product comes from sand, plastic, and cement. Plastic here has been taken from rubbish in school environment. When break time, almost of the students throw their rubbish in the dustbin, then they must put them in different dustbin where it's divided in organic and unorganic. And for that, we use an organic rubbish. Then it will be burned, and the result of its burn will be combined with cement and sand. Then it will be printed by using popping block print. Then instead of uh, instead of that popping block, will be put LED lamp that use solar panel. In the morning until afternoon, that popping will be put in the outside to absorb energy from the sun. And the evening, maybe after my grip, that fiber block can radiate light without plug into the electricity streams. And this product also ever got medal from region of Bogor Regency when my headmaster, Mr. Ujang and team follow innovation competition in area of Bogor Regency. Maybe I will show you, uh, Ms. Yuzi, uh, can I share uh, PPT? Sure, sure. Okay. okay. Thank you. Host disable by screen sharing. I cannot do it. <laughs> 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 
Oh, uh, Mr. Hakim, can you make uh, Buana to become a host? Mr. Hakim, are you there? Yeah, I want to see this yeah. popping block. That sounds you know, pretty interesting. Yes, that's, that's really wait, interesting. Just, just wait, just wait, I have just no wait. idea what this looks Where like. Where is your name? <laughs> Where is your name? Okay, I cannot. Okay, it's it will be not. It's okay. Uh, uh, maybe you can share to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, go, go, go. Just share yes. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can share it now, Miss okay. Anna. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay, that is uh, the photos when my headmaster, Mr. Ujang, and team uh, got the medal and followed the wow, competition MSC. in Bogor Regency. Yes, this is the Smatsura Paving Block from SMK N1 Kemang. And we got a second uh, runner-up for the competition. Wow, give a blow. <laughs> okay. Maybe Mr. Mr. Ujang is also here. Bapak, are you here? No. Pak Ujang, wow, maybe cool. you have to give a speech. Wow. Pak Ujang, okay, congratulations. Success for you, success all. Okay. The audience. Okay, thank you, Pak. Uh, for your information, Mr. Ujang is also as the master on uh, the headmaster of Miss UC also in SMKN1 Chario, like in SMKN1 Kemang. And then... Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. I am very busy. <laughs> busy bapak, busy bapak. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I will stop my sharing and then um for the next program. Uh, uh for this year, uh, in SMK N1 Kemang has had industrial class for automotive body engineering, which cooperated with Skuto. This is the first experience for my school. Skuto come to school to do selection with the student who will enter their class. And next, my school also had cooperated with Axio for computer network engineering. I visited master and also headmaster had come to Bandung in Axio office to do interview and my school could pass it. And for this year, we also do industrial class for computer network engineering. I'll talk my school is the last state school in Bogor Regency, but I am sure that my school can grow rapidly and be the one favorite vocational school in Bogor Regency. I mean, and then for the others, I think that a uh, program in my school will be same with the other school, like we do flex ceremony in Monday, duha, exercise in Friday, and other extracurriculars, except English club, but also Japanese club, dancing, singing, soccer, basketball, etc. Uh, I think that's all about my experience and program in my school. Thank you very much for your attention. Maybe I will give the time for Miss Yusi. Thanks, Mrs. Yusi. Okay, thank you so much, Bu Ana. It's really so excellent school, I guess, yes, because you get so many, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, the, the winner of, uh, of making innovations. I hope Pa Ujang will also make some innovation in SMK Charyu. I hope so. <laughs> uh, uh, so you 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 should work hard for SMK Charyu, yeah, Pa. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Miss you see. <laughs> siap ya, Pa. Siap. <laughs> That's all, Bu you see. <laughs> Jam delapan enam. Gaspol ya Pak, oke. Okay. Ya, Gaspol dan Edun kan. Kata Pak Abur, Oyag. Oh Oyag. Ya. Oke. Kopi Oyag, Sulti Oyag. Kopi Oyag. Oke. Oke, thank you so much uh, Bu Ana and also Pak Ujang Tohari for sharing the information for us and then so you are mute sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry okay <laughs> we still have uh, two speaker in here so let's continue to the next speaker It will be delivered by Miss Yusi. Yes. 
Yes, sir. Uh, I'm raise hand. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, Pak Adi. I'm sorry. I didn't see. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I just Pak want Adi. to say because in this time we are speak up and I just want to say this in SMKN one Kemang is good innovation and I yes. hope maybe in next competition uh, innovation of Bogor district maybe uh, can be a good uh, another innovation. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not focused in this activity because as you know in SCTV have uh, just South Asian competition football. In this time, Indonesia wow. with football. three football goal with Thailand one. Uh, oh. just, uh, <laughs> thanks for your attention. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we tidak fokus nonton Piala FF tiga satu Indonesia. Terima kasih, Miss Yusri. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you, Pani. Yeah, <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Pani, for the information also. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's uh, continue to the next speaker, Butias. Are you ready? Okay, Butias yes, insyaAllah. Yeah, Butias is from SMK Laboratorium Indonesia. So please, uh, the time is yours. Okay. Thank you, Buyusi, for the time. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke, okay, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahirobbilalamin. Uh, Honor, thank you for uh, the opportunity, the honorable our head of uh, KCD, Bapak Agur Pustikawanto. Thank you for the time, and Pak Adi Maulana. Thank you for uh, keeping the chance to stay yes, tuned. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you also for Bu Hastanti um, for always uh, motivate us to do this. And also Bu Fitra and team and my fellow teachers. Um, let me uh, do a little sharing about my school. Um, well, I'm not having a good preparation just like our previous uh, presenters, but I try to do my best to share everything that I want uh, to. Um, let me introduce myself. I am Tutias, but my students usually call me Miss Tias. Um, I teach in SMK. Actually, SMK is not my first choice to teach. Um, at first, I didn't want to teach at school because I thought teaching at school it could be so um, difficult with so many preparation and everything. And I think I couldn't do that because, uh, because of those things. But uh, having my school now, SM Calibrate Indonesia, is really a fortune for me because um, everybody in the school really giving a big support, especially our headmaster, Bapak Dr. Nes Muhammad Gunawan, and the management and also our foundation. Our school actually located in Tajur Halang, in Sasak Panjang. And we are under our uh, foundation. We call them, uh, foundation is Yayasan Keluarga Guru Jakarta, or KKGJ. And we have a big, a very spacious place. Uh, we have very green school, although the location is really remote. It's not really in the city, but it's really in the remote area. When you go to our school, you have to pass along the Starfruit Gardens, and then the kecapi trees and so many uh, types of trees. So our school is in the middle of those uh, uh, trees. Okay, um, I want to share a little bit about the school uh, project and the programs. Was our school has Very three nice competencies. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, our school has three competencies. We have the hospitality. We have also the ULP or the uh, tourism. And then we have also the office administration or OTKP. Um, mostly the students, they prefer to take our hotel or hospitality competency because they thought being hoteliers could uh, give them more opportunity to uh, get jobs after they graduate. But because of uh, those, what is it? Um, 
challenge, we try to spread the number of students to all the competencies. So there is no favorite competencies in our school. How to do that? Uh, we, uh, we had uh, set up some kind of test. Uh, one of the tests is English. And we interviewed the student one by one to get to know uh, the level of their English, just to make sure uh, which competencies that uh, they are eligible to. So if they have good English, we put them in uh, tourism because we think that the tourism need more uh, students with English skills. And then the second levels would be go, uh, would go to the hotel and also to the office uh, management. So that's how we get our students. Um, we have actually a big number of students this year. We open around nine classes. Uh, even though we are lack of facilities, but our school and our principal open some opportunities for us to explore, to explore and give our students, um, what is it, um, to, to make us, our, the teachers, to deal with the problems, the obstacles that we have in our school of the facilities. So, we have one project, what we call is um, PBL, or we call them Students' Fair. So this PBL is actually a collaboration learning. This is a collaborative learning among some teachers of um, lessons. The PBL is about having the students explore their skills in team, and their team um, mix between those three competencies. Um, we had this experience of projects uh, two years ago while we have the COVID because we had problems with canteen. At mm -hmm. that time, we didn't have any canteen in our school because of yeah, you know the rules from the government, right? We couldn't have any canteen. We couldn't contact, uh, we do, couldn't, what is it? We couldn't have any physical contact with uh, other students. So we had the solution to have an online online market uh, for food. Okay, so that's why uh, we have the PBL. PBL is uh, project-based learning. Okay, so this PBL program actually has uh, had the very um, enthusiasm from our students. So most of our students, they are really interested in joining this program. We set up the team. So one team uh, consists of 11 graders mixed from the hotel, from the tourism and the office. They gather, uh, they plan on making proposals uh, guided by the PKWO teachers and Bahasa Indonesia teachers. And then they set up uh, the prices and everything, uh, what they need uh, guided by the teachers from finance or accountants, accountancy. And then they also set up where they want to set their uh, market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when they want to set their, they want to open their uh, booth, uh, how they want to manage uh, the selling. Uh, they, they got help from the MICE teacher uh, from UPW, from Pariwisata. And then they also um, need to prepare the presentation to classes um, to introduce the product. This is also guided by the teachers, teachers from um, guiding lesson and also by Indonesia. And then also they, when they work together to make uh, the stuff, we check and we prepare a place or facilitate a place for them to cook in our school. And they are helped by a teacher from uh, food and beverage uh, teachers team. Um, while doing the process, the the students get the what is it? The supervised. Uh, the, they are supervised by our teachers. The uh, the they have the tutor or coach in every team, and also the teachers from PAI and PKN because. Uh, the teachers need to know whether they work together, whether they have tolerance uh, to each other, whether they have a cooperation and everything like that. So basically, while doing the process of PBL, uh, many subjects are involved here. 
So we give them, uh, we give the teachers some scoring points. So the teachers could go along and watch the students during the process and taking the notes of the score for the students' performance. And the scores uh, should be reported to their class teacher. So that's what we call collaborative learning. Uh, in that way, we could ease away uh, the problems that we had while doing the PJJ. Because, you know, as you can see from our students, usually they got problems with technology and they had some situation with, um, you know, they didn't get enough uh, pocket money from the parents. So they try to find out what they have to do to get money to buy things. So this is the, the solution that they get. So in PBL, we set up some uh, rules. They have to uh, they have to sell. They have to make and sell and package product of food. They give them some kind of theme. For example, for this week, the theme is food from uh, cassava, and the next week, uh, food from uh, fruits, and then the next other week, uh, food and from something like that. So we always change the theme for every week. And there are also sometimes when we get the second row of the second round of uh, PBL, where the student must uh, follow the theme. The theme is about traditional food. So some some group they made uh, food traditional food from uh, South Sulawesi. Some other group they set up uh, food from uh, other regions, uh, other provinces. So uh, in that case, uh, there are other. Uh, lessons that are involved, that is SBK and also uh, more to uh, PKN and everything. So this is our uh, our big program actually uh, that we had in our school. And we, we still try to continue this program up until now, but we got some problem because we got so many students now, maybe we have to change. We have to change uh, the system, the technique, so it could be more um, selective and yeah, you know, more more valuable for the students. So uh, that's what we are going to have in the next year. So that's what we call PBL or project-based learning. We call them student fair. Um, on the day, on the D-Day, after they prepare everything, we prepare application. So we sell not only to the students, so nobody could buy from uh, the booth uh, on the spot, no. They must order the food by using our application. So the team must make up, uh, what is it? Uh, they have to send uh, pictures, detail of the price to our application. And we send application to the neighborhood. So um, at that know. time, the customers mm -hmm. came from our neighborhood or our surrounding area. So from parents, from teachers from other schools or students from other schools. So they order the food, but they take it to our school. Okay, some, but some students also open delivery system uh, for a minimum order like that. So uh, that's how to we do that. While doing that, so on the D-Day, people can take uh, the orders. And we also have some performance uh, show, like music show, acoustic show. And then some students also uh, selling their food around the school using English. And some students, some booth open uh, special or offers like drinks and everything. So it actually it was a very good idea that we had, and hopefully uh, we can continue to uh, the next uh, year. That's our big program. And now um, I'm going to share you a little bit about our daily program, so weekly program actually. Actually, it's just the same, I think, with other schools, just like Miss Aisha and Buana already mentioned. Um, in our school, we also have what we call um, morning briefings every day. We always have morning briefing every day. Our school starts, uh, the bell rings at 6.45, and all students must gather on the field. And we have to make sure that all their uniforms and everything are right. And at that moment, we always share, we always motivate the students in every morning with positive words, positive energy, because we are, we believe that 
having that situation in the morning, the crucial moment for us is in the morning in our school, because as you can see, perhaps my school is different with yours. In my schools, most of the students are from uh, the lower class. So um, coming to school, seeing our student coming to school is already a blast. So it is very wonderful to see them coming to school in the morning, 6.45, standing on the field. They know already that we are going to check their uniform. So they already prepared with their hijab, they already prepared with their whatever it is. Uh, we always use pantoffel shoes every day. They know about that. And um, they always prepare themselves. So when we are opening our mic, they already get ready to listen. So we never had any moment of anger in the morning. We don't have any negative word in the morning. We always say, good morning, how are you today? So blah, 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 like that. So how is your parents? So hopefully blah, blah, so always like that. So this is actually our school's habit and it actually becomes, um, what is it? Some parents told us that uh, they've never had this experience with other schools. So they really appreciate this kind of programs in our school. So that's why we keep the, this program. And I really want to share it with you because having a morning briefing every day is really important. You know, not every student of ours um, coming to school with fresh mind, you know, not every one of them having full, uh, fully fit with their parents. Not every one of them having a very good, uh, what is it, farewell from their home. Because most of our students are from the broken family. So we try to manage that situation to make sure that our students feeling comfortable from the first time, from the very morning. Very because we inspiring. Believe, yes, because we, we believe that if, if we don't have any morning briefing, they will ask Bu Tanti, Bu Tanti, Ma'am, we have morning briefing. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Even though it's, you know, drizzling a little bit, we still have the morning, even only five minutes. Okay, just welcome. Let's pray together. Okay, okay. So hopefully our teachers come today. So hopefully you get something for today. You get new knowledge for today. So let's pray together. Is it? Just only five minutes and then they go back to school. Then we go back to their class. Just like that. And um, because of that, some of our problem also about facilit uh, facilities, Buha Stanti and my fellow friends, uh, because of that, uh, we try to facilitate the students with something that they like. So um, our students love wearing makeup, something. Mm. wearing makeup. And it's kind of hard to prevent them doing that because it's really like a habit for them. So what we have to do is try to put ourselves in their position. So let's put ourselves in their cup of tea. So... We have a special schedule for them to uh, having uh, on every first Thursday, uh, have every first Tuesday and last Tuesday of the month, the student could wear baju kerja. So they use a uh, blazer. They, they can wear, um, you know, like high heels <laughs> or yeah, anything, no fast or whatever. Uh, and the, the boys should wear tie and like that. So. That's happened every Tuesday, first week of, uh, first Tuesday of the month. And they could wear their makeup. And they had to get a very good grooming. And we appreciate that. Well, we always call out uh, some of the students that look perfect so to the front of the morning briefing and let them introduce themselves, talk a little bit. So let them show themselves off in front of their friends so it's good give them a little, you know, confidence, right? And then uh, on the last Tuesday of the uh, of the month, we had a batik day. So everybody will wear free batik, any batik that they have, not school batik. So they can explore their types of batik. So we can talk about the type of batik that they wear. What is it? Who, is this yours? Where did you get this? What do you know about this batik? Something like that. So that's our facilities, uh, facilities to make our students feeling comfortable with our school. And then every Wednesday morning, in the morning briefing, special English day. Uh, we always call one or two students to the front and let them say something uh, in English a little bit. 
just say introducing like that so yes uh, one or two students and they go back to their uh, friends and that's it so that's Wednesday they call them yeah, English day um actually it's not really um it's not really well at this time being but we managed to make it uh, better because yeah as Pabur and the other set confidence of our students is really a bit black right so uh, by uh, we try to show them that, Alhamdulillah, in my school, um, I have many of my friends speak English really well. And even though they are not English teacher, but they could manage themselves speaking English uh, in front of the students. So the students could see them as the role model. And the role model is really, really um, inspiration yeah, for them because they will see, they would say like, wow, when they see Guru Agama speaking English, they will say, wow, when they see Guru SBK speak English. So if me speaking English, Guru Bahasa English speaking English, I think this is a normal thing. But when they saw their teachers speak English, even though they are not English teacher, that would be good motivation for mm-hmm. them. And they tell, they tell us about that. They never imagine that, wow, actually, Pasa, it could speak English fully. Yes. It's good. He's a good English speaker. So don't think about the grammar, just blah, 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 whatever it is. As long as you can understand your friend, you can understand your teacher. So just go on with that. So that's what uh, we always have to our students. And by having that amaze, amazement uh, look on their face, um, we could understand that actually they want to speak too. But it, maybe they don't have time. Or maybe we don't give them more time to speak. Maybe we talk too much as teachers. <laughs> so, okay. I think that's all about my presentation. I hope it's not too much. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody is still here. And um, I don't know what else what I want to say. Um, I th- are really enjoy your voice because it's <laughs> really kind of, uh, yeah, I feel like, I, I yeah. know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, you know me, right? So I don't know. I, I don't prepare anything. I just prepare the points because I know if I uh, prepare too much, I will talk too much and it's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> okay, I think it's that's all. Miss Thank you for your time and I open for uh, questions later on. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Butias, for the information and also sharing. That was really a good program at your school because it's a uh, perhotelan, right? Yeah, yes, so that's right. So, so many activity that you can do, yeah. Okay, so we still have one speaker. I hope uh, that all this webinar mem- members still want to listen because uh, the last it's not the least is that right <laughs> okay so uh i will uh i'm sorry i forget the name uh so the next will be the presenter is uh mr bapak rizmi shopiar amd from SMK Wirabuana uh, for uh, Bapak Rizmi. Please, the time is yours. Pak Rizmi, we can not hear your voice. Still, still mute. Okay. Just try to use the laptop microphone. I think. Okay. Yes. Maybe. You can use your laptop not using the speaker mm-hmm. 
That's the mm. voice. There's no voice. There's there's no voice. Still, we cannot hear your voice. What is me? Something trouble with the headset. Okay. Yeah, just I hope. Put it out, just uh, check on my mic, and maybe we'll be better. Oh, there it is. Just using of a uh, microphone in, in, in my... Yeah, we can hear. Micros, microphone on laptop. No voice, no sound. Uh, reach me, maybe. Yes, no, yes. No sound. Yes, okay, okay. okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Can hear you. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. So sorry about that. How much time do I have now? Uh, fifteen minutes. <laughs> one hour. Fifteen minutes. All right. <laughs> one hour. Where can I start? Say one hour. <laughs> I forgot all the things that I would like to say. Uh, First, I Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, sir. Okay, the honorable Mr. Abur, Mr. Abur, as the head of uh, Charistic Wilayah One, West Java, and also my school supervisor mrs hastanti and also my senior uh, mrs pitranita from uh, the head of uh, mgmb and all other teachers from around the globe can you still hear my voice ma'am yes it's clear yes it, it's right. clear but it's me i'm here uh, thank you not louder um, just uh, speak louder okay is it okay, sir? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, all right. Uh, my name is my name is Rizmi Sofiar. I'm from SMK Wirabona One at Citayun Bogor, where um today I will uh, present to you my school programs. And I just like the previous uh, teacher. I don't prepare anything. I'm just uh say things that I have in my mind, actually. I learned a lot today. I learned more than I would like to know about um, English. So I feel like my, well, my English is nothing compared with my, my fellow English teachers. I thank you very much for this uh, lovely occasion, lovely opportunity, and I, also would like to say thank you for Miss UC, if I'm not mistaken, as our host for today, for giving me a chance right. time to speak in front of you. Finest people, very excellent teachers. Well, we are from SMK Wirabona 1 at Chitayam. Actually, we, we are at uh, uh, Pintu Air, Jalan Samad Kanang at Chitayam. Uh, we have, uh, you know, the ways of transportation. We have uh, 05, Depok 1, and also uh, the closest railway station will be the Chirayam railway station. And talking about schools programs, we have uh, four school programs, which is for competencies, for um, measuring, uh, Number one is OTKP, and uh, we change OTKP into uh, MP, MP uh, for Curriculum Merdeka for the second year. And also we have uh, AKL, which is accounting, and the other one is BDP, marketing, and also uh, multimedia, I changed the name into DKP. And uh, some of them are having some uh, programs uh, which is very very important for the students to learn more about uh, 
theory than you know a practice than theory because uh in my school i always say to my students that they will learn 30 percent of theory and 70 percent in in practice in practice and for OTKP or MP, we have uh, Postpay. Uh, Postpay is the place where we can make our payments like electricity, uh, bills, uh, motorcycle bills, taxes, and everything. And we somehow make Postpay uh, like the simulation or simulator like we do in companies so that they won't be they won't be, you know, they will get used to it to, to, to make, uh, to prepare things in, in companies because uh, SMK is, uh, the purpose for SMK is ready to, to go to work actually, for my opinions. And also we have uh, multimedia, which is now called uh, the cafe. And um, we have some business center that all the students uh, will be will be studying and learning how to make some um, photoshops, uh, videos, and editing videos and everything. I mean, they will learn somehow about uh, photos and uh, videos. And also, we have uh, BDP, Business Daring Pemasaran, and we weaponize uh, our our facilities by having WebMart. WebMart is the place where they can practice. WebMart is like uh, it's like uh, sorry say like like Alpha Mart or uh, Indomart. So they will know how to display things, how to make some input, input, output, and make some stuff of them, and they have things that they need to prepare themselves when they graduate. And the last one is um, AKL, accounting. We have um, weaponized them by having uh, Bank Mini, Bank BJP, and Bank BTN uh, to, to make them feel like when they have the prop AKL, or we somehow we make the the ship turn to make them how to work with the uh, with the uh, stuff that they have in the, the company and for myself i i have uh, taught english for for some years now and i i believe that i for me for myself i I never consider myself as an English teacher. Why? Because I I don't know. English is my I love English. Actually, I I, I want to be a, a sailor, but my mom said no because I, she was too afraid that my boat will sink like the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, some other programs like academic programs we have. Uh, we have uh, some uh, facilities that uh, modify students how they how they try to manage their uh, skills, how to develop their skill, how to motivate the skill. Uh, not only in the classroom, but all labs included um, when they have the the study in the, in the classroom, and they will practice in the lab like OTKP lab, uh, BDP lab, and also the English lab. I, myself, as a tutor, tutor, as the English club, and actually tomorrow I will go to Pakansari Stadium and uh, will present my students. They will perform storytelling, and um, I hope uh, it will run well. Luck. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And yeah, um, actually, um, other programs that we have managed. This is our second year that we have uh, the uh, uh, TFA 
uh, teaching factory because I mean, uh, every time I come to classroom, I, I always say to my students, uh, they have to prepare any, anything and everything. I mean, when they, when they go to school for three years, I said to them, don't, those can, do not consider this as a, a school because when they only say this school is when they have, when the teachers give them homeworks, they will say too much homework and they will mumbling everything. So I said to them, this, these three years, make them like pelatihan, like magang, because three years is enough for them to, to, to develop to upgrade their skill, including English. And also, the I always say to them, don't forget the three B for the most of the, the, the bigger students, like brain, beauty, and behavior, and also English. Because I think English is very, very important nowadays. When they will they will meet English everywhere. When they have to face the, the manager, when, when they want to apply a, a job, they will say they will speak up in English because uh, that's very very important nowadays. And we also have another new program which is Japanese language. This is the first time of the year, and I myself learn one or two words, but I can't remember <laughs> anything now. So I guess oh, um, <laughs> yes. Uh, I learned a lot today, and um, I hope that we can have more sharing from today. And we have some uh, asking and questions like uh, giving opinions, because my opinion is, is that um, for me, um, I, I have some, yeah, many times I have some, some difficulties and and obstacles in teaching because I always say to my students, um, you have to upgrade your skill, motivate yourself because this globalization era is, you know, will harm you if you don't prepare, if you're done ready. That is why they have to master everything, including English. Yeah, they have to weaponize themselves, upgrade themselves and, and do the, the best because Three years is, you know, to 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 upgrade is is uh, is important. That's I think that's enough for me. And um, and thank you for for watching. Thank you for listening. And this is my first time. Actually, I'm very panic, <laughs> and also <laughs> very excited. Very we also are excited. And excited. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Mr. Well, my English is not so great. So I learned. No, I learned a lot good. today. I you learned a good. lot today. Actually, I would like to say something to my my friend, our friend right here, Mr. Bruce. Is she still here? Yes, Mr. Bruce still is there. still here. Still there. Yeah. Uh, I'm I, still I would like to... here. Yeah. Sir. Hi. Good evening, sir. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Yeah, I would love to have a chat with you. Mr. Bruce, I would like to ask you a question. Yeah, it, it somehow it's, it's like a sharing. How, how myself uh, as an English teacher, as Indonesian English teacher, it's hard for me to motivate my students because they only learn and study English in the classroom, sir. Only that. When every time I try to make some scoring to put grades in my agenda or, or the report books, uh, but in the outside, like when they have the break time, they forget and forget all about things that they have learned in the classroom. Let's say, let's say, when I greet them in a the stairway and they will say, Pa, udah pa, capek. Nanti aja di kelas, they will they will smile and they will run away. So, how how can I motivate them that this language is an international language and very very crucial nowadays, sir? Uh, can you give me some tips or two, please? Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Uh, 
Yeah, I, you know what? I think not everybody is like you that, mm -hmm. that wanted to speak English and wanted to be a sailor. And so I think, you know, that what you want to do is you want to find people who like uh, that habit of speaking English. So you have students in your school who really like that and you don't have to motivate them. You don't have to push them. But sometimes when you bring them together or you communicate with them in the hallway, the ones that really like speaking wow. English, it will bring others into that interesting activity that you're doing but if you try mm -hmm. to motivate somebody who's not really that it's not really interesting for them or they're not motivated then that's a very difficult thing i say in your classroom you should spend most of your time teaching the students that are motivated and let the mm -hmm. others repent <laughs> do you, you know what repent is yeah, <laughs> of oh, course my. OK, yeah. so all right. you, you, you don't try to get all the people <clears throat> who aren't motivated. You don't give them all your attention. You give most of your attention to the people who are motivated and you let the others change their mind if they want to. So if you if you focus on the students in your school, when you see them in the mm -hmm. hallway that like to speak English, they don't feel choppy day. You know, they're not going to say yes. choppy. Yeah, the class I did. Yes. That person, <laughs> let them repent. Yeah. Biar mereka bertobat. Yeah. Tapi yang mau berbahasa Inggris, itu ya, yang diajak ngobrol di luar kelas. Dan biar yang lain lihat, yeah. itu sudah biasa. Ini sudah, sudah ya, ini sehari-hari ada percakapan dalam bahasa Inggris. Now, I want to say, was it Bu... Sutias, yeah, Bu Sutias, yeah, uh, earlier too. I really love uh, some of the things that you're doing at your school. Yes. Um, I mean, you're, you're focused on receiving guests. And so you've incorporated English into your, you know, into your school's routine. And mm -hmm. I think that's also something that, you know, um, Patrizmi, you can see if maybe you can borrow an idea from, from her school and, mm -hmm. and uh, incorporate it into your routine. Because what works there, if it works there, it ought to work in your school mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Am I pointing yes. in the right direction, right? If it yes, works right. there, then it should work here, right? <laughs> yes, it should, it should be applicable everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And, and it won't be all the so students. I think, not, yeah. not every student yes. wants, to, wants to be enthusiastic about speaking mm -hmm. English. And that's yes. okay. It's not really a sin. I know mm -hmm. I'm using a funny language by saying, let them repent, right? It's yes. just let them change okay. their mind, right? I get this. They're not really sinning if they don't want to speak English. That's, yes. that's no big deal. But if they mm -hmm. want to speak English, then that's the student that's going to go very far and you don't have to push them. You don't have yes. to. You don't have to do anything. You just, you know, invite them in a in a way to continue to increase their activities in English. And then when your school gets uh, prestigious awards, like where somebody becomes a, a champion, um, that draws more attention from more students. So there's a there's uh -huh. sort of a uh, I don't know what you call it a um, a ball that gets rolling. Motivation. Yes, we'll yeah. go rolling. There's, there's a ball of motivation that gets rolling, and it will come from your students who are the ones who, who are already motivated. Yes. yes. Usually, the motivated one could be a good example. You are dead horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it is, man. So sometimes you it can't, is. It's, sometimes it works. Sometimes it. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So if you kick a dead horse, nothing happens, right? Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. if you try to no. motivate a student who's not interested, nothing happens, right? Yes, so, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you cannot yeah. push them. Thank you, sir. Thank <laughs> you. The, the problem. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Here, the, the um, problem is never here. Yeah, that's right. If they want to do that, they will do it. Because 
every student that you have is smart enough to speak English. Why do yes. I know this? There's, yes. there's a lot of not very smart people in America who can speak English. Okay. Really? So that ought to tell you. <laughs> really? That ought to tell you that How even, even special, special needs kids in America speak English. So it's not a problem of this. It's a problem of this. If they, so if they want to, this is sufficient. They have the brain power to speak English. It's just a matter of, do you want to? Do you want to be fluent? Yeah, and, yes, yes. and you have that desire in your heart, Rizmi. And nobody put it there. Yes. Maybe God put it there, right? So, but it, you have it and you can identify the students in your school that have it. Everybody, yeah. I see a lot of teachers going, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, you know, uh, this student and that student and this, student. you know, you have those students in your school that you know they're extra motivated. They've got this, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. We got that situation, uh, you know, actually we got it wrong in the beginning, Bruce, about having the grammar first, always start with everything with the grammar. So that's the problem in, uh, in our life, yeah, in our English. In our school, we have what we call, um, uh, what is it, tutor sebaya, we call them, yeah, peer teaching, you know. So yeah. the motivated one will teach the one that is, because they feel more comfortable with their friends rather than with the teachers. <laughs> Yeah, and they and they say if you can do it, I can so do it. Right? Can can it can can it be said if there is a will, there is a way. That what I believe. Yes. Yeah. Try. I believe it. So. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. Thank you okay, so much. Bapak thank Ibu. you, Mr. Bruce. It's okay. really a great think, discussion. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. <laughs> thank you so okay, much. I think that's enough. From me, Miss Yusi, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. This is very wonderful occasion, wonderful time. I'm looking forward to having this another some wonderful time. Thank you, Miss Yusi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Yes, it's it's a really uh, great discussion. So we have lots so many informations about the teaching and about how to handle the student in our class. Okay, uh, actually we still have one session. There's a Q&A session, but uh, actually this is over the time. So, uh, yes. <laughs> so Please maybe- you take a picture before we are leave this meeting. Yes, Next yes. Okay, of, co of course, Pak Adi, of course, I will. So maybe uh, for Q&A questions, uh, we, we will not uh, have because uh, some of you have we'll also... Uh, yes? No, but one question. Sorry, so you continue. See. Uh, continue, sorry. So, okay, so uh, we still... Maybe one or uh, two questions. Okay, so uh, even though this is over the time, yeah, so it's is is that okay if we still continue? Okay, I hope Bapak Ibu uh, still on, not sleepy. <laughs> yeah, stay okay. Actually, stand by. I I yes. have to go. Maybe. I have to go. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm thank, you, yeah. thank you, Mr. Bruce. Thank you, Mr. Bruce. See you next time. Thank you very okay. much. Yeah. Uh, Bapa Ibu, you, you can uh, open the camera. Yeah. We will All try right. to uh, take a picture, Mr. Bruce. Can can we have a picture with you, uh, Mr. Hakim? Are you ready to take a photo? Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, please open the camera. How, how, how about Mr. Hakim? Is that enough? Just a little more one. Okay. Or, uh, 
Mr. Hakim? Yes, I'm here. Uh, just, 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 just a minute, just one minute. <laughs> very sorry. I miss you, man. Mr. Hakim, your photo is very cute. <laughs> <laughs> you have the eyes. He is cute. Hakim, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not... Actually, he is we have cute. Some dialogue. Yeah. Mm. So, Bapak Ibu, uh, we stop our meeting or uh, because I uh, actually this is uh, the time is over. Just just closing, uh, Pak Abur. Uh, how about so we 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 will close this webinar or still yeah, continue? Already, already nine thirty p.m. So you can close. So we still have a lot of time next week. No yes. problem. Okay. So okay, uh, Bapak Ibu, uh, the last agenda is closing. So let's say Alhamdulillah together. Alhamdulillah. 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 This is our last session. From the deepest of my heart, I do apologize you, for my mistake <laughs> for presenting this event. Thank you very much for all the speaker and also all the audience in here. See you next week with the same webinar in English for teachers you want to speak up. Okay, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Hakim, we can take a picture also. Good evening. Yes, okay. See you. Thank you, Pak Adi. Pak Adi, thank you. <laughs> Pak Adi, Pak Abu, Bu Hasanti, semuanya terima kasih. Pak Rizky, terima kasih. From SMK Cibinong. Oke. Oke. Izin Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you. Makam. Oke, okay, Mr. Hakim. Thank you ya. Yes, 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 yes. Parismi Hakim. Parismi. Pak Yus, Bu Yusi. Saya. Oh uh, yeah. Saya. Bu Yusi, Ibu Yusi. Parismi, <laughs> Pak. Ya, ya saya. Mas ya. Thank you, Mr. Abur. You uh, enjoy info. Yes, sir. Mr. Abur, today. I'm here. Can Can you 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 you, you said you learn a, a Japanese language, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, one or two. Because this is, I, I mean, this our first year uh, for Japanese language. I learn or two, one or two. It's very important uh, and it's very hard, sir. So uh, okay. hard, actually, a lot harder than English. So if I say, if I say what what your name, yeah, on namai wa osete kudasai. Oh yes, sir. I cannot go to that further. Please oh, forgive Lord. me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank okay. you, Prabu. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Abu. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Abu. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.